let's take a look at temperature trend here over the next week or so. You'll see that we've got in a pattern here that we get cool behind the front. We warm up in front of it, then cool down behind it, warm up before the next one comes through. We've got one storm exiting off our coast today. We'll have another one on Wednesday night and especially another one as we head through Saturday into Sunday. So we warm up in front of each one and cool down behind it. Not much in the way of cloud cover across the area for us this afternoon from inland spots of Greenville all the way to the Crystal Coast. The last little bit of those clouds just moving away from the Crystal Coast as we speak. And you can see those stratocumulus clouds offshore here from that colder air coming in behind that departing low that is offshore. Temperatures we may only see them go up a degree or two from where we are now as we do head on in through later this afternoon. Did have some cloud cover, even a few sprinkles in the early morning hours here around the Albemarle Sound. Then even Ocracoke took a little bit of time to clear out this morning, but now seeing lots of sunshine across the area. And you can see those clouds are lined up with the direction that the winds are going. Rather blustery, especially along the coast, putting that chill into the air, making it feel like the upper 30s as opposed to the 40s where the actual temperatures are. So again, the coastal areas might be lucky to get near that 50 degree mark today. The majority of us 48, 49. That's about where we're going to top out. Winds die down overnight tonight and those temperatures drop colder than we were this morning by about 10 degrees. We'll be into the mid to upper 20s and probably even just barely above that freezing mark along the coastal areas as we head overnight tonight with those winds going light. So here's our players on the field. Again, one storm exiting right now. The second one starting to develop down here. Tapping into that Gulf of Mexico moisture as that low pressure makes its way in towards Texas. The third one well offshore there of California. But as we go through the next several days, that will start to get in the pipeline. And like I said, this is a typical El Nino pattern with these storms cutting off towards our south. So a high pressure slides in, dominates our weather as we head on in through tonight and tomorrow. There's storm system number two, bringing that moisture northbound, starts to bring those showers in here after dark tomorrow night and should be out of here by sunrise on Thursday. That departs out of here. Another cold high slides in the drop in the temperatures, and then we get ready for storm system number three. That's going to be headed our way as we head through the weekend. Looks like a pretty good soaker in here, especially for the second half of Saturday. Should be out of here by Sunday, but even a stronger storm potentially coming our way as we head into Tuesday of next week. Again, about every two to three days, expect to see something coming through the pipeline.